Hello, so today I'll be showing you guys some of the things that I used for my fishes, for my plants that I have in the aquarium, the things that I feed my fishes, how do I keep the water safe for the fish and stuff like that. And I want to start quick with the food that I give to my fishes. I have different fishes. Most of them are tropical and I do have two bale sharks which are the only aggressive ones and one rainbow. I think it's a rainbow shark or something. He is also a little bit aggressive but he's so shy. Like I don't know why they call him aggressive. I always feed them in the morning flake food and it's tropical. I have lighting here I'm sorry. It's tropical flakes. I grab a bunch like not a lot but what they would consume within the first minute because they have so many fishes it's hard for them all to eat so what I do for dinner for dinner everyone I'm sure everyone eats I have this it looks kind of disgusting it's frozen blood worms the worms are so tiny like weird stuff and um, they do have a lot of rich proteins I guess that's what they call it so if you feed them to your fish every day it's m most likely gonna affect the fish and their metabolism and some stuff I googled it Google I googled a lot of this stuff because of course I didn't have anyone else with a fish tank so yeah they love this um, you just grab a piece hold it in your half full for a little bit it's kind of disgusting you get the blood out and then they start falling apart and then you just put it in the fish tank and then they go crazy on it uh, when they start falling down all the things that you get fall down it's the extra that the fish won't eat so just on the first couple times that you try feeding them try to check out how much is falling to the floor and next time feed them a little bit less than that and it, it's just like they they love um, moving on to how to maintain the water quality of your fish tank I like I said I have 22 fishes so I have a vacuum it's not actual vacuuming you just suck in the water and clean up the rocks but also it's really important that the ammonium that they're creating on the water is removed so you have to remove a good amount of water like 25 to 35 percent of water on a week and when you're ready to replace the watering to put it back in the tank make sure to use this easy balance but also I this is like the only thing I would treat my water with I would just put this and put it every time but then reading on the back and PetSmart told me it's bad adding that all the time so you make sure you just do it when you're putting back the water so when I add the water I add aquarium salt you could get all this that I'm talking about in PetSmart that's my favorite store right now I don't even go shopping this just like neutralizes the water and improves the the disease recovery like I said my fish went through this is the second time going through fin raw and fin ick fish ick or something uh, whatever you call it so the saw I really don't know if it's helping but it's supposed to relieve them from stress and everything. I guess all fish could have a little bit of salt on it. You just add like a couple tablespoons per gallon or something. Also for the babies I have the fish net as you guys saw. When someone's sick or I need to take him somewhere I have a dip and pour. Everything's turned around. I'm sorry it's just my mac. The ick. I'm, I almost ran out. It's a super ick cure like my fishes literally look like like that spots it's so hard to do this spots on the top of them they had little white spots I thought it was salt I was all like whoa the salt stuck to them but it was actually the disease just talk about the filter that I use the filter is huge it has two disposable but um carbon things because you do add carbon this is a premium activated carbon I haven't used this because I haven't found the bags I'm looking for this type of bags so that way um, I just 
change the bag and put the carbon inside and it's ready to go because all the nasty stuff gets stuck in this little pocket thing but I haven't found any of them available by themselves because this one's if you buy the box the big box you get the whole thing you get the carbon actually I mean I already have the carbon Maybe I should have never bought the big carbon anyway. This is for the filter. The filter I change every month, once a month maybe. I change one, I change one and not the other one and then the other one and not that one and so on. I just went crazy there. The main thing of the filter is used to provide carbon for the fishes, oxygen to oxygen the water or whatever you call that. Let me talk to you guys about the plant growing, sorry. The plant growing issues that I had. Like I was saying, um, the first time that I brought my fish tank here, I was all like, okay, I just have to throw the plants in there and they're going to grow because I already bought them like that. But it turns out you need a lot more than just water and plants. Mm, the gravel is fine. It's not necessary to have the dirt or the soil that they sell, whatever that is, but it is necessary to have like to provide them with food. I'm not really sure about the carbon dioxide, but I was all like, oh, plants, plants need carbon dioxide. I went ahead and bought this carbon dioxide natural plant system. Instructions are just confusing to me. Maybe I don't know how to read right or something, but the instructions were hell to me. Add a lot of sugar and then put like some of these, oh, lighting, God, look at my face. Anyways, uh, put sugar and then add some of this stuff, the activator and stabilizer CO2, carbon dioxide. So at the beginning I added like this much sugar and I was like, oh, I think that's a lot because it says add to the first level. There is no levels on this thing. So I just added this much and I was like, oh, please <laughs> let it not be too much saw that this thing wasn't working I was like well there goes my money and then the second time like this time I'm just gonna add a little bit more more sugar so I added like this much sugar on the thing and the the rest of the packets and it just rapidly worked it was amazing how fast this started working and I I didn't see that much change within the first two days and then I was like you know what I need some plant steroids plant fertilizer and I got this it came on the package for free I believe I believe I don't know where I got this from it's a plant grow iron ooh maybe I should record like this you can't see my face this it was just like steroids to the plants or something cuz I bought some seeds I'll show you guys later I bought them at Walmart oh so like in three days that plant was crazy it was just growing all over the aquarium it was just insanely insane, but it was pretty cool. I was like, ooh, I did something, it's me, it's me, but it's like, I don't know what it was. Went to Petsco, saw some beautiful bamboos and another plant that it was just amazing, and I was like, I want to buy it. And then we read on the little side thing, and it said, requires plant food, and I was all like, holy snaps, like plants need to eat or something? I'm like, they need food? Are they kidding me? So for $8, I bought plant food. Aquarium plant food promotes growth. I even pronounced that. But I guess it's been helping it out because they're growing like amazing. They're just so awesome. That's a basically the basics of what you need for your plants to grow. It's just food and carbon dioxide. I believe that is all I have to say. I talked about the food and I'll be making another video showing you guys I bought another fish tank but it's a 10 gallon. I bought it for the purpose of raising my little my little baby fishes and thanks for watching.